Hey, how you guys doing? This is Alex Bryce here with English Sports Center, and it's that time of the week, your weekly fishing report, and happy Mother's Day. And mom, if you're watching, happy Mother's Day. Uh, now, let's get into the fishing. Uh, start off with some of the rock fishing, uh, trolling. You know, it's been picking up. Um, uh, it's picking up pretty well. Most of those fish are on their way out now. Uh, we know that for sure. A lot of post-spawn fish. Uh, a lot of people are catching decent numbers of you know fish out there. Uh, generally, in a lot of different areas, there's not been like one general area where you know everything is happening right now. Uh, same kind of deal, trolling the edges, uh, mouth of the rivers. Uh, one of the patterns that we found out is that anywhere from Bloody Point towards Love Point on that false channel, uh, it's been pretty good, you know, for trolling. Uh, there's not a designated specific water depth that we have key in right now, so you want to keep switching out depths and whatnot. One thing we can tell you though is that white has been the color for this past week. Uh, white tandems in general, uh, but you can try any kind of white lures out there. Um, also, you know, if you're going out there, get early in the morning, get out there early in the morning, try some different lures higher up in the water column. We also got reports of people catching some fish trolling in the upper water columns, and that means 10 to 5 feet of water. One of the better lures to do that with is a, you know, spoon. Uh, you can run a spoon shallow way far back out. Uh, behind a boat and you know that produces a good amount of fish. Also one thing that I don't see a lot of people doing is the bigger houses. Uh, those guys will you know will produce fish, uh, multiple different sizes of fish from small to big. Uh, run them shallow just on the 5 to 10 foot of water column way back 15, 20 bars and you know you might catch some fish early in the, early in the morning with that. Um, now you know, uh, let's say that you know if you're going out there this weekend or you know the, the upcoming um, next week or so. Uh, remember, May 16 is the um, change for summer season, and uh, you can go on our Facebook and check out. We have a post there with the full regulation change. They did finally change that over to uh, you know two fish over 19 inches, uh, only one fish over 28 inches. Uh, and the regulations are a little bit different from the initial ones, but what I can tell you really quick is that if you're chumming or chunking, you must use circle hooks. And if you're not, let's say you're just using regular chunks of bait with no chum or chunking in both, you can actually uh, still use regular J hooks. But for more information on that, make sure you go to our website or and also go to the DNR's website to check that out. Now. Let's go into the chumming. Uh, right now, chumming is one of the things that will produce you maybe a little bit more fish. Uh, Hackett's has been one of the spots between you know 25, 35 foot of water. Uh, you must have a tide move, you know, tide movement to you know produce a couple more fish. Uh, fresh bait, fresh ly, you know, that's the main bait you you want right now. You can try some soft crabs mix in there. We have them right now. Uh, and you know they've been producing some uh, undersized fish and some fish, you know, keeper sized fish. Uh, also, Pedicure Point, you know, one of the other spots, typical spots that you will chum in the summer. Those are the spots that you can try uh, right now. Uh, Eastern Bay, and if you're doing catch and release, you're pretty much going to be, uh, you know, thinking about going inside the rivers. One of the better spots that I've been finding out is that. Fishing inside Eastern Bay around those islands in there, like Hog Island and all those islands in there, shallow water fishing has been pretty good. A lot of people have been using small paddle tails, small lures uh, in the shallows, producing a lot of fish from, you know, in the middle, you know, 15 to 20, maybe a couple of fish under 30 inches, and that's been pretty well in the shallow water fishery right now. Uh, you know, some things that you can try out for that, you know, it's like this bait bowl a live target uh, <clears throat> spinnerbait. Uh, I know some guys have been trying it out there and it's been producing a decent amount of size of fish out there. So that can be one of those uh, lures that can help you out for that. Uh, now for you guys doing the light tackle jigging and whatnot, obviously some of the areas that are going to produce a good amount of fish are going to be uh, the power plant down south. Uh, you know, you're going to have pretty much the uh, eastern, eastern Bay side, lower side around the islands, uh, you know, around Smith Island, Crisfield area, all those general areas in shallow water where you're going to be able to catch a decent amount of fish, uh, you know, and also, also check and make sure you are in a, you know, if you're in a catch and release area or in a, um, 
you know, non non keeper area there. So, with that saying, you know, for rockfish, uh, let's wait. And we're, I'm predicting a good uh, summer season. Seems like there's plenty of you know mid 20s uh, size fish out there. So let's wait until May 16. Uh, trophy season is pretty much coming to an end. We got a couple more weeks, maybe one or two. Uh, one more week for that to be over with, and then we're going to start to be able to catch, you know, uh, our 19-inch fish. Uh, for you guys fishing from the shore, Thomas Point um, Park has been one of the, you know, areas that have been producing a lot of fish from the shoreline with lures, mainly because of the, just how the areas form. Uh, talking to a couple of my buddies, uh, you know, casting spoons have been producing. You can bounce them off the rocks, you know, burn them through the rocks, and they have been producing. Uh, the pink color, red color in general has been really good, and this green one has been pretty good. Uh, guys from Sandy Point, Matty Peak, and all the local piers uh, have been finding, you know, good amounts of rock fish, but a lot of undersized fish. Uh, so also, you know, let's wait on May 16, soft crabs and whatnot. Remember where you're fishing. I keep hearing a lot of people getting tickets from, you know, Cambridge. Uh, that pier down there because they don't know that that's a catch and re release or not even a catch and release area like you're not supposed to fish target them in there right now so keep that in mind um, Sandy Point uh, soft crabs LY best baits for out there you're gonna be finding a mixture of white birch rockfish and some channel cats uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna be having here until you know the midsummer and waiting for the spot to come in around June to late June. Uh, let's hop into some of the ocean fishing right now. We've been getting uh, more and more reports about black drum, bluefish, uh, rockfish in the coastal areas, meaning, you know, you're pretty much, we're going to start seeing that bluefish run start up probably this week here uh, in the Ocean City, Delaware areas, uh, Ocean City Inlet, Indian River Inlet, Lewis, uh, you know, Lewis, Delaware area. Uh, all those areas are producing some bluefish, not a lot, it's hit or miss right now. Uh, people catching them with cut bait on the surf or casting SP minnows, um, any kind of plug like that. Spoons like the one I showed you earlier, you know how bluefish are, they'll hit anything that moves uh, when they're fully on. Um, stripers, Indian River Inlet had reports of a lot of shorts and a couple keeper sized fish. Um, Ocean City, uh, you know, Route 50 Bridge, uh, at night mainly people catching some keeper sized fish. Remember regulations are a little bit different for the ocean side, so make sure you go online and check those out. Flounder fishing has been picking up uh, in the Virginia areas, also in Ocean City and Delaware areas. A lot of people have been catching them with, you know, bottom rigs, with uh, live minnows, uh, squid and gulp. So, you know, that's that time of the year, uh, getting good reports of people catching them in Lewis the Lewis area in Delaware uh, with live minnows off the piers there. Uh, black drum also keep seeing a lot of people catching black drum off the surf from Ocean City, Assateague, Fenwick and Delaware areas with clams. So try some of those sea clams, you know, fresh clams, all that kind of stuff with that and you should be able to catch at least something with that on the surf area. Uh, freshwater fishing, you know, snakeheads, everybody loves some snakeheads, everybody wants to catch them. It's pretty much responding time right now so if you find <clears throat> almost like a bed for them uh, there's always two of them guarding their fry they will most likely hit something and what a better thing to use than you know a topwater frog if you're fishing in shallow water spinner baits shatter baits uh, so anything that gets across their faces they will hit it at one point so try those out we have this uh, booyah toad runner it's almost like a whopper plopper weedless so you can cast this in heavy cover uh, bass fishing, fishing is uh, kind of depending on the area. Most most of the bass are moving into the shallows and in, in the areas. You know, you can find them in beds. Some areas you'll find some males still moving around, trying to you know make their beds. So uh, expect that full spawn to be you know in full swing in about a week or so. Uh, and that's it for your fishing report. Uh, once again, happy Mother's Day. Send us your pictures. Uh, you know, send us your reports, give us a call, or send us, uh, you know, a message on Facebook, and make sure you subscribe and like the video. Thank you, guys.